Good morning everybody, how are you doing? It's me Patty from Across the Shock and uh, this is another part of my collection videos. This is my case collection which I'd promised after doing last week I'd done my, I don't know what I'd done last week, not a clue. Anyway, I said I would do the case this week. So here we go. Uh, and I, I don't have many, I have 12, 14, 14 case knives which, you know, and I'm saying not many, to me that's a lot. And it's, you know, it's a good collection of case um, I there's only one pattern I have two of, and you'll see the reason why I have two of it um, that I've kept, that I've kept anyway. Um, again, my collections I try not to have too many of the same. The only thing is the fifteen patterns and the like in the GEC, but with case I don't really want to collect um, two of anything. I just like having the one, the variety of all the different patterns that I can. And as I increase the collection, it'll be a different pattern each time. That come, excuse me that comes along so I'll just get started I'm going to start with my little small ones let's let's get started with the basic knife that everybody knows I think this is in the harvest bone um, case truly do a beautiful bone and my selection of knives here you're going to see the fit and finish on these knives are absolutely fantastic for the price of the knife don't forget, these are about half the price of GEC. So you can't expect GEC quality. What you can expect is good fit and finish. And the ones that I've got here, uh, I, all but one, which is an old battered one, I've got really good fit and finish that I'm happy to have in my collection. Uh, and it, it, it's through experience, because when I first started collecting the case, uh, I got some shockers. Uh, but I was buying them on the second hand market or, or you know, sight unseen sometimes. And I learned my lesson very quickly that to buy a case knife for me, I need to know the person I'm buying it from. I need to see pictures or videos of the knife, the opening and closing. I want to see the back springs. I want to see the blade alignments. They don't have to be perfect. It is a pocket knife. It's not like your uh, your modern knives. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, these are hand finished, you know, the case knives. So you're going to get, custom, you know, errors, little errors. But this one is a peanut, a little small knife, but yet perfectly formed. I love this knife. I love the bone the case does. Um, it's a typical little jack knife. You have your um, clip point. Listen to the snap on that. It's just beautiful. And you have a little pen blade. So as a fifth pocket knife, a starter knife for somebody, there's so many reasons you can give this to somebody. But, I mean, if you just want to nick a bit of thread or cut a tag off, this is a lovely little knife to pull out, which will certainly, you know, it's the size of my little finger. It's not going to threaten anybody. And yet it's a lovely collection. Some people just collect peanuts and I have hundreds of peanuts and I can understand the fascination for that it's not my kind of thing but you can understand it when you see the quality of that little knife it's in this two sharp stainless steel perfect little knife so we'll start that up there um, what way should we? we'll leave them sitting that way there we go the case and the next one which is the same size is the toothpick or and it's just a little tiny toothpick you have that long slender blade. This is in the pocket worn and it's in a beautiful blue bone. I love this dark blue going through to the, the, the softened edges. Absolutely love. You have the clip point and then again you have the little pen blade on the other side. Lovely little knife. Again, look at the fit and finish. I mean, a lot of people rib case, and I have, and I do, because I think their fit and finish sometimes is diabolical, and I don't see how they get out of the factory. But this one has lovely lined bolsters, an absolutely perfect miniature of a full-size um, toothpick. It is just so well done. I love it. Lovely knife. Um, and again, uh, these are all things that I... That, this is what I want in my collection. So I'm going to talk about... Here's the Here's the... <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the oldest knife in my collection. I can't even remember whether I, I think I bought this, but it would have just been for pennies. The fit and finish, look at the springs sunk down in there. But I want to show you this knife because whatever you think of a knife, if it does its job, it does its job and it's worth its money. This, look how worn this is. Now, this, this didn't come like this. This has been properly hand-worn, rubbed and used. And the reason I know it's been used really well is take a look at this main blade. Look at that. 
and he ever done it sharpened well and he kept the the, the the sharpened edge absolutely lovely all the way up this is the main blade and i want to show you the other case that i've got here just the main blade in it there's what the blade came like <laughs> do you know what i mean um now i'm not even sure yeah it, it must have it must have come with a spear point i would have thought but it's just been sharpened so far up it just doesn't look anything like a spear point so i this this just i wanted this to show that no matter you know we can all pick and fit and finish but most of the times the knives even with bad fit and finish i don't know whether this changed over the years which it probably did to be honest but it is sharp both blades are perfectly sharp this is the smaller pen blade on it um it's just this has been used as well but not as much as the main blade perfectly servable serviceable and sometimes i like just throwing something like this in my pocket is it shock value or just because always uh, you know my family other people around me always ask me what knife i've got on me and when i've got this on i'm dying for somebody to ask to bring it out and the, the look that i get when i bring this out is fantastic so there we go um i'll close this one up because it's going to be coming in my this is another one of the first one. This is a subscriber sent this to me when I first started. I think it was my first case, you know, first proper case. Um, this is just a, uh, a mini trapper. Again, that long slender blade, which I find out is not a blade that I like in color very much, but it has that lovely spay blade. And again, if you the case spay blade comes out to, uh, you know, it's thinner at this end, fatter at this end. So when you're cutting through any material that you know like cardboard or something like that it actually holds it down in and you get honestly even this wee knife for breaking up a box is absolutely fantastic it's it's only about let me just see i'll put this up here because some of them i should measure for you the little peanut is two and seven eighths um the case is three and five eighths and then this little jobby here, the mini trapper, is three and a half. So it's a lovely, it's a full size EDC. You know, you can get a really good grip on it. And um, this is just in uh, plastic or whatever they call their plastic. But it's a lovely knife, really beautifully made. And again, fit and finish. Absolutely fine. And th this was a gift from a, a, it's another, he was a YouTuber at the time and he's not anymore. Um, but a beautiful gift and uh, a prized little possession. So. Let's go on a bit now. These are this is this is a, this is a, a jackknife, and that's what a Texas jackknife, I think they call it. And uh, there is the lovely little clip point. It's not as skinny as the that of the the previous one. I like this one. It looks in proportion to that. I always think them skinny um, clip points, like the California clip and whatever, they they always nearly look too skinny for the knife. But this is perfect. A little small. Full size, I can get four fingers on there. Um, I'm right up to the castle, but that's fine. You know, I ain't moving anywhere. I ain't going to do heavy tasks with a little knife like this. But a beautiful, beautiful clip point on it. And then you have that pen blade. Nice sturdy little pen blade and this could get quite a lot of detailed work done. Um, very nice to bring down if you want to do cuts like that. But a nice sturdy, not big, but sturdy. And it's the American... I, I just think this, as a, the Texas jackknife, is such a useful, much like the Mini Trapper, it's just such a useful tool. You can get so much work done to it. And we'll put that up there. Let's get this in the centre so that it all looks nice. And turn these around. Is this my OCD coming out, do you think? There we go. And there's the jackknife. And next on the list I'm going to show is this again. This is another gift. This is Gizmo sent me this. This is in CV. Uh, all those are in stainless steel, true sharp stainless steel. This I've really enjoyed. I love CV steel. You can see this one's getting that. Uh, it's get it gets well used, and it's a lovely little knife. Again, a full four finger grip. I'll just give you the close length on this one, which is about three and five eighths. So this is the small sod buster. And it's probably one of the most useful little knives that if you just want quickly to put something in your pocket that's going to cover all your tasks in a day, this little sod buster will do it. Uh, it's not particularly thick behind the edge, but it's again, it's not flimsy. 
there's no movement in this blade whatsoever it is just a stunner i love the bone uh really is lovely and i can't remember all the names of these bones but look at the jigging on that it's just phenomenal and then you have this orangey color going around the side i mean there's that pocket worn just such a useful little knife and again fit and finish on this is absolutely fantastic i don't have any with bad fit and finish because now well over the past couple of years i've chosen them i've paid more attention to what i'm buying and that I suppose that's the answer or i bought from people that i trust uh, this was a gift from gizmo and a just lovely gift really lovely gift so there we go. Now, another three. She'll have another three. Let's start moving this down a wee bit. Okay, here's another two. We'll keep with the, the, the smaller ones. Uh, this one is a Tony Bowes pattern. Now, Tony Bowes designed for Case for years. He was a renowned custom knife maker. Uh, and he spent a lot of years with Case designing different patterns, bringing patterns back. That was Tony's thing. He brought patterns back into use that maybe hadn't been used. But... This is just a swayback jack. And whatever it is about the swayback jack, I've had lots of these. Uh, I've stuck with a stag one now. But they always seem to make these so much better. And in fact, a lot of the Tony Bowes range, they, they do make better. If he puts his name to it, um, they do seem to be of better fit and finish. This one is gorgeous. Again, if you go up to that Ricasso, I can get three and a half fingers on there. A real lovely little detail knife that's what you're going to use this for cutting threads it's not a, a heavy use work knife but it is a pocket knife that i often carry just by itself because it is good the length of this one is three and a quarter beautiful little knife look at that beautifully done stag on that isn't that just sumptuous it really is just beautiful really like that stag on that one and another one in their stag is this one and this is a really rare one. You don't see that again. That stag. Look at it. It's just, just, just eatable. It really is. And this is a little razor knife. Look at that. Again, it's a close length is two and seven eighths. So it's a smaller knife, but oh, look at that. Come on. How beautiful is that as a knife? It's just unusual. But when you get your finger up there again, I can get three and a half fingers on it. And it's sharp as a razor, sharp as a razor, as a razor. Um, listen to that fit and finish. Again, absolutely perfect. So, the, my advice to people who you know you can listen on YouTube how bad Case is, but if you're choosy and pick the right knife, you see the trouble is that Case is such a famous knife and it's been about for years, and a lot of people just buy the Case. They're not bothered about fit and finish like we are. They just want the knife that cuts, and that's what a case knife is. I mean, they're selling to people most of the time. They don't care if there's a wee gap in the back. They don't care if the blade's to the side. They're going to use it to work. And it's always been that sort of the working man's knife. Well, a fancy working man's knife. Um, and it has that reputation, and sadly it's still playing along to it. I wish it would come into the, the 21st century, but it hasn't as yet. But this is a lovely one. I love the shape of this. It's like a, a soy belly in it. Lovely, lovely shape. But one of my favourites out of all my cases is that. Um, and then let's go to this one. This is probably my most used case knife. I, I bought this second hand. Again, fit and finish. I knew the fellow was buying off. He's in one of my slip joint clubs. So I had no problems. Once you know somebody, there, you know, you can ask them. If they tell you, I believe them. Um, until I don't. <laughs> But it, this was an absolutely perfect knife. This again is in the CV, which I absolutely adore their CV. It is a little stockman. Your sheep's foot there. Lovely sheep's foot in this wee knife. And then you have probably my favourite. No, it's not. It's a pen blade. And that's the only shame of this knife. I love a spay blade. But this is a pen. But it's fine. It's a stockman. It's going to last me. If you can wear these three blades out in one day, you're a harder worker than I am. But this is lovely. And again, I'm just going to give the clothes length off it. Three and a half. The perfect little pocket dropper. I put them in slips, to be honest with you. Although this one has found its way without a slip on it. Because it's a worker. I bought this to be a worker. Um, and there's a great carry. That little stockman and the sod buster. Fantastic carry. 
will definitely cope with anything you've got going in a day. Now, one of my favourite ones, my pattern, I've got quite a few, as you can hear in my uh, chat now. I keep saying one of my favourites, but look at this one. I love this for this shield or badge, whatever you want to call it. It is so beautifully done. I'll bring that up close for you. Look how well that is put in there. That is metal and it's been countersunk in there. It is stunning. I love this. And it's the canoe pattern and lovely size of a knife. Again, let me give you the closed. It's about three and five eighths. Beautiful knife. And the canoe pattern because it looks like a canoe. This blade is absolutely lovely. I haven't used this much, to be honest. It's funny, I love the canoe pattern, but I don't carry them much. And I can't explain it. Every time I say it, I can't explain it. Nice little thick pen blade on there. Small but thick. Will do plenty of work uh, that you need it to do. Snap is perfect. Look at the uh, fit and finish again on this knife. I just adore it. This is what I call a classy knife. And I wish I would carry it more. I really genuinely do. No reason not to, but. And here's another one. This is just a recent one I've got. I've never had a um, copperhead. And so I got this large one. I can't even remember what whether. I, I know I bought it second hand because I bought it known. If you can see that, that's the way that it had come to the fellow who I bought it off. That's why it came from Case. With that big chip out of the wood. Uh, now. When you hold it like that, you don't see it because of the pattern of the wood. Didn't bother me in the slightest. Got it for a good price, so I bought it. Again, everything else about it, the fit and finish, the blade settering, everything else about it was beautiful. And it was let me see what the larger copperhead was like. And it is a lovely knife. Slim, longer knife. Perfect. You can even use that as a steak knife if you've gone out. But I think I'm going to try the smaller one. I can spread my four fingers. If I go up onto the Ricasso there, I can spread all four fingers out, and that is a proper working knife. Not a huge blade, but it's a proper working knife, if you know what I mean. But a lovely steak knife, uh, if that's your want. And it's the sort of thing you can take these days. You can take them bushcraft, and you can take them out for a meal. You can take... This is beautiful wood. I can't even remember what it is, to be honest with you. I'm sure somebody will know and let me know down below. Lovely, lovely knife, and uh, again, if you can, you, you're starting to see they're all different patterns except for the two canoes. This is my sow belly, and it's a single bladed sow belly. This is a Tony Bowes that he made for shot throws, so it's limited edition. But with case, limited edition can be thousands. So I don't know how many he done of this one, but you get his signature on the blade. Oh, there we go, Tony Bowes signature. Really recommend Lovely ebony wood. Really, really nice this. The sow belly in this with just one blade is fantastic. A proper EDC knife. I don't need any more than this for my day. Uh, the close length on this is three and five eighths. I didn't do the, the large copperhead, did I? It is four inches. So, I mean, that is a, a proper big knife. This isn't far behind and a beautiful knife to carry and hold. I really adore this. And the last, this one, and the, there's another two. I think I have four Tony Bowes ones. And again, fit and finish. This one I bought off one of my subs. He gave it to me for a fantastic price. Again, Tony Bowes. This is a vintage Tony Bowes, they call it. Um, I have no idea how old it is. There we go. Anybody who knows how old that is, please let me know. Um, but I love the clip on that. I think it's a beautiful clip. Again, it's a stockman. And the sheep's foot, I, I just think they do a fantastic little sheep's foot. It's snub nose enough to be a really useful tool. And then my favourite, the spay blade. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? It really is a lovely spay blade. If you want to get up under something, and if you see the way it sits in the blade, if you want to get under something and cut it away, the perfect blade for doing it. And the perfect shape that the, the sow belly is for that knife because this is the only one down at this end which is turning up so and it is perfect for getting that underneath and if you want to run that up somebody's jeans to cut them off, fantastic. But just a gorgeous knife with a lovely bit of bone on it. The back is prettier than the front which is a shame but 
it's still a beautiful knife fit and finish again on this is spectacular it really is there's not a gap on it the blades look how well the blades are fit in there there's not one of them touched there's no rubbing absolutely love this knife and we're going to get to the the big one my this is the the highlight of my case design design or knives sorry i am it's in the morning and i haven't definitely woke up this is my tony bow's case and this is this is made by the top craftsman at case and once a year tony bow's comes in and does they make a limited edition run and it's not a huge uh, edition but he comes in and he has this knife in mind. He has already designed in his head what he wants. So he goes in and he helps teach the craftsman at Case how to put this knife together. Beautiful knife. Just stunning. And it, this is the one that comes in the fancy case. You've got the pen blade. If I can just show you here. Lovely size pen blade. Can get so much done. And there you go. They have USA Tony Bowes 82... 003 and this is an ATS 34 steel which is a fantastic steel just a fantastic steel uh, an upgrade from all the other sort of steels that you're going to get in your case knives which is just the true sharp or the CV but look at that spear isn't that lovely and the thing that, that, that Tony Bowes was he never liked any square corners everything had to be rounded in his knives and this one is just beautiful. When you put this in your hand, you don't feel any corners at all. It is all rounded over. Lovely. Just that spread on the back there because these are good standard of blades, good size of blades, you say thickness. They are beautiful in hand, a full four finger knife. Very, very comfortable. You could work all day. And with that upgraded steel, the knife's going to let you do it. But this is made to perfection. Uh, yeah, Tony spends weeks in with the the. It's they're the most talented people that Case have in their factory. He goes in and they they come together and make this knife. He'll go through it with them, give them any advice or help that he can. But I love the fact you get this little pen blade, and instead of stopping the termination with the main blade like most knives do, he takes this further on up and covers up so that this and this are equal. This is custom standard. It really is custom standard, but if you wanted to buy a, a Tony Bowes custom knife, you're probably talking minimum 2000 and and then upwards. Um, so to get this one, I was so pleased. I think this cost about £200, which is really pricey, and it's a case knife. You know, it's not made by Tony Bowes. The design was Tony Bowes, and he helped them, and he, he went in and talked through all the processes so they could get this made for the SHOT Show and have it in immaculate shape and condition and you get a beautiful case pouch I should have brought it down but as usual i didn't so there might you know some of my not some of my these are all of my case knives and it's a collection that i think is going to grow because there's still other patterns that i haven't got there i'm you know funny enough i'm, I'm one of these people i like single bladed patterns but with case you really have to branch out and uh i will do and I'll get more double bladed cases that I, that I want to see, like the small copper lock. I'll get other knives like that and improve this collection. But I'm not in any rush because this is a nice size of a collection. Um, it will increase, hopefully, uh, in the near future. I've got a few that I actually really want to get. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, did I give sizes on this? This one is just about three and a half inches beautiful knife so there you go i hope you enjoyed seeing these i think i've said beautiful my favorite i don't know how many times but again this is a record for me that i can see what i had in 2023 and i keep starting these every year and never finish them so um i think next week i'm actually gonna do locking knives and i think i'll do lockbacks first i'll do all the lockbacks that i have uh and you can see I'll do lockbacks the next time and then I'll do my other locking knives in the week after because in between doing these little separate ones I'll do uh you know I'll be doing the the sets. I am so sorry this has been crap <laughs> but it's my case collection. I'm really happy that I've got it. 
And uh, for those who watched the video yesterday, and I suppose I should have done this in the beginning and got it out of my head. I hope I didn't offend anybody by my video yesterday, but I just wanted to back up Manisfaction and uh, Sharif uh, for what they're doing for the community. There's a lot of people in any walk of life who have problems and they, they have to find a way through them. It's it's not a pity party. That's what I don't want. Um, it's my life. I'm only sharing my life and uh, and how I get through it. So for those that watched it and commented, thanks. I, I haven't answered a lot of the comments unless there were direct questions because I want this to be manufacturing things, not a party thing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit of a rambly one. I'm sorry. And I think this is just the fact that I didn't say this before. It, it shows that there, when you throw yourself out there, sometimes it's a bit raw and, and things, it doesn't matter how long things have been in the past, you can get a bit raw. So again sorry uh probably affected my thought process while i was doing this anyway there you go patty's away for a wee cup of tea thanks for watching more videos to come take care bye bye now